Mark here with Shooting Target 7. Here's how to use our painting stencils to really make these hostage targets pop and boost the realism. I've removed these from the target stand to paint, but you can do this with them attached. I'm using Rust-Oleum Flat Black Primer for an optional base coat that improves the end result. Next, apply the magnetic painting stencils. Only one side of these are magnetic. We cut them assuming you'll mount the targets to the hangers with the correct side facing the shooters. If you reach this stage and your stencil does not stick or orient correctly to the targets, make sure you have them mounted as shown in the pictures on this page. For the final color coat, use a light mist, being careful to avoid drips that will run under the stencils. If painted correctly, you can and should remove the stencils immediately after painting. Letting them dry on the targets could glue them on. Stencils are rubber infused with iron. Solvents attack rubber and will destroy them. Let the paint dry on the stencils after use. There is no need to clean them. Now the fun part. When I pull these off, you'll see how these stencils really make these targets pop. The paint lasts longer than you might expect. I have many other stencils available. Just type stencils in the search window at the top of the site to see them. Take care, shoot straight, and let freedom ring.